The most important thing you need to do with the timing system is you need to keep it grouped together when putting the sectors and start finish together, otherwise it will not work on your racetrack. So as you can see I'm getting the start finish part and I'm just going to put it as close to this white line as I can so the timings are most accurate. Obviously, if you, you see it stretching before the line right here, so we're going to try to rotate it. And if your rotation doesn't work, you just move it back some. And then you have to turn the transparency to zero. But one. So obviously, sector one. Um, if you're like trying to go by like the way the sectors actually are at the track in real life, look that up. If it is a road course, if it's an oval, which this is the homestead road course, um, just put the sectors anyway. So like here, I'm gonna put it in turn right at turn one. Well, then you don't want to do that. You don't want to accidentally drag the whole model. Let's check the book this time. Finish it again. Did not. Okay. And then set the two with basically the same thing. Just move it anywhere on the track. And once again, you're going by a real life setup, so I'm just going to move it to right here. And that is how you set up a timing system in Roblox.